tapping back in. How y'all doing? We're going back in and <clears throat> read the book of Isaiah. Uh, we're going to read uh, about um, just how the Most High is, is, is want the children of Israel to get themselves together so that um, they can rejoice in his name and uh, get themselves ready for his kingdom that he's going to establish. So, um, we can just start right here <clears throat> at, um, uh, we can start at 17. It says, but Israel shall be saved with in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. And let me just speak on this world right here because it's, it's, it's speaking about Israel being of the most high, being the most high world. Uh, and with that being said, you know, we want to take that scripture from John. I think it's three, John three and 19 or something like that. Uh, when he says that he's begotten his only son, uh, uh, Whosoever, uh, I forget what that scripture say, but just speaking on that world in that scripture right there, um, that's not talking about the whole entire world. That's talking about the world of Israel, you know, because the most high, the, the children of Israel, they are the world to the most high. So we got to get the proper understanding of that scripture and quit thinking in that that scripture is talking about the, in, in the whole entire world when it's actually talking about one nation and that's the nation of Israel. For it thus said the Lord that created the heavens, God himself that formed the earth and made it, he had established it. He created it, not in vain. He formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord, and there is none else. Uh, I have spoken not in secret in a dark place of the earth. I said not unto the seed of Jacob. And the seed of Jacob is, is the nation of Israel which is the 12 lost tribes, so-called lost tribes, which are the, you know, the people who were taking on slave ships and brought to America and some of the people that was already here in Americas and other places that's um, around the world in different countries. Um, <clears throat> it says, I... I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know why my camera is doing this. I, the Lord, speak righteousness. I declare things that are right. Assemble yourselves and come. So the Most High want us to assemble ourselves, meaning He want us to get our minds in order to come back to Him, to His truth, and to... Um, to the truth of the Bible, you know, and not, and, and stop following um, after man-made doctors, or man-made um, things like holidays and stuff and things like that. He say, "Draw near together, ye that have escaped of the nations; they have no knowledge that set up the wood of their graven image." And what is the wood of their graven image? That's the so-called white Jesus that's, that's put on the cross on that wood. Of their, that on the wood of their graven image. Because you remember the Most High don't want us <clears throat> um, worshiping uh, nothing with wood and stone. You know, he, the Most High never set up images. And say, tell ye, 
I'm sorry, uh, of their graven image and pray unto a God that cannot save. So that God, which is that the so-called white God, white Jesus, he said that God cannot save. Tell ye and bring them near. Yea, let them take counsel together who had declared this from ancient times, who had told it from that time, have not I the Lord, and there is no God else beside me, a just God and a Savior, there is none beside me, look unto me, and be ye saved, all the ends of the earth, for I am God, and there is none else, I have sworn by myself, the word is gone out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return. That unto me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. Surely shall one say, In the Lord I have righteousness and have strength. Even to him shall men come, and all that are increased or incensed against him shall be ashamed. In the Lord shall all the seed of Israel be justified and shed glory so the most high saying get yourself together and come back to him and be glorified through his truth through his word and through him who's coming back to save those um, that are lost you know so i wanted to share that with you guys and know that we don't have nothing to be worried about we just need to gather ourselves together and come back to our Father who created the heaven and the earth and all things in it. And um, we'll be okay. Come back to His righteousness and truth. And uh, yeah, everything will be fine. You know, uh, that's why we have to go over these scriptures and study these scriptures. You know, day in and day out, you know, to get the proper understanding because a lot of things we've been taught through the Christian or religion, you know, has been backwards or opposite of what this Bible say. So, you know, it's a blessing to come and hear the truth and come and get the words. And as I get the knowledge and wisdom and understanding through the Most High, I want, you know, I, I thank the Lord that I'm able to share it with you guys, you know. So, thank you all uh, for liking, sharing, subscribing. I appreciate the support. Um, come back, and I'll be back with the next one. Peace.